William is famously private about his family life, but has been gradually introducing George, and his two other children, six-year-old Princess Charlotte and three-year-old Prince Louis, to life in the public eye. Royal watchers were therefore delighted when William and his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, brought George to watch the England vs. Germany match of the Euro 2020 Championship earlier this week. Some have even dubbed the young royal a lucky charm after England won 2-0 against its longtime European rival. The Duke of Cambridge is currently second in line to the throne, but is expected to prepare his eldest son, George, for the day the seven-year-old becomes the reigning monarch. However, William made a bold decision not to even tell his child about his destiny until he turned seven last year, according to reports. Author of Battle of Brothers Robert Lacey claimed that William told his son, sometime around his seventh birthday, that he was going to become the future king. He alleged that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wanted to approach the subject at a controlled moment of their choice, although it remains unclear exactly how they told George about the big news. Still, this surprising move reportedly came down to William's own experience of finding out he was second in line to the throne, and his desire to do it differently for his son, so George could at least experience part of a normal family upbringing, according to Mr. Lacey. Mr. Lacey alleged the heir's choice was influenced by William's unhappiness at the haphazard fashion in which the whole business of his royal destiny had buzzed around his head from the start. Despite Princess Diana's best efforts to give William a normal upbringing, the royal actually found out about his destiny in the monarchy in a tricky way. Mr. Lacey added, from George's earliest day, William made no secret of his wish to spare his firstborn the causal initiation, or non-initiation, that he felt he had suffered as a child. Biographer Andrew Morton claimed in his 2011 book, William and Catherine, Their Lives, Their Wedding, that the Duke of Cambridge was not told about his inevitable role in the monarchy by his own family, but found out from his classmates. Mr. Morton claimed, before William attended school, he genuinely had no idea that he was any different from anyone else. His innocence of his position was soon ended by fellow pupils who left him in no doubt who he was. Allegedly, a classmate asked him if he knew the Queen, only for William to reply, don't you mean Granny? The Duke of Cambridge did allude to handling George's destiny in a different way to how his own father had coped with his in a 2016 BBC interview. William explained, first love my children in the same way any father does, and I hope George loves me the same any son does to his father. We are very normal in that sense. He continued, there'll be a time and a place to bring George up and understand how he fits in, in the world. But right now it's just a case of keeping a secure, stable environment around him and showing as much love as I can as a father. In comparison, heir apparent Prince Charles has previously said his understanding of the future dawns on you slowly, as he realized gradually over time that he would have a certain duty and responsibility as he grew up. Charles then appeared to follow the same path for William, and even allowed him to be photographed a great deal in his childhood. Royal editor of the Mail on Sunday Emily Andrews claimed, photographers and journalists were given a huge amount of access to William and Harry. Both men have talked about how they found that press intrusion very difficult. So when, William, had his own children, he was absolutely adamant he was not going to allow anything like the level of that access to his family. The kind that had been allowed to him and Harry. Instead Kate and William have managed to create a new boundary with the media and the public by sharing their own family photographs, taken by the Duchess of Cambridge, on their own social media account, at Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. It's said George was not even aware of why he had to be part of the Four Monarchs portrait of Christmas 2019, which saw him standing with the Queen, Charles and William.